And in that vein, we're speaking this morning with Mr. Ronaldo Rashad John, and he is the owner and operations manager of Le Chateau, yes, right please. here in Tobago. And we're so happy to have you on the program this morning. Thank you. Um, let me say good morning to all the viewers online. Um, good morning to the entire island of Tobago. Good morning to you as well. And thank you guys for choosing Le Chateau to have your live show this morning. Um, let me just say this that um, the chateau would have been commissioned in the heart of COVID in 2020. And while folks were closing their doors, we were now open, uh, opening our doors. And I want to take this opportunity to say thank God for his mercies, his goodness, his grace towards us. Um, had it not been for his grace, we would not have been here. So I just wanted to say that. Um, on another note, um, on the 11th of December 2022, 2023, we would have celebrated our third anniversary at Le Chateau. And I want to say um, thanks to all the persons that would have played an integral role in ensuring that Le Chateau came to fruition. Um, I want to big up my parents. They have been the backbone of Rashad. They have been the backbone of Le Chateau. They have been the backbone of Ronaldo John. Um, my entire family by extension, all uh, my friends, the team at uh, Rashad, my uh, Jordan, uh, CJ, I just want to big up everybody. Um, I just want to also take this opportunity to uh, thank the team um, at Le Chateau, the perfect gift, material things to be go week for choosing Le Chateau um, to making it what it has been uh, for today. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Yeah. And gratitude, mm -hmm. of course, is a yes, must. Yes, it's important. So I appreciate yeah. you for, mm -hmm. for being grateful to the people who have supported you and yes, brought please. you to this. I mean, we know the name. Yeah. You already have an established brand, Rashad. Yeah. Yeah. An established brand providing, you know, unique and, and good quality clothing. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. On the island of Tobago. And people are looking for you. I know, remember, some years ago, around Christmas time, people are like, where can I get something? Where can I get something? Yes. And they're rushing. Yes. Rushing, yes. rushing. Yes. Rashad is the man. I'm sure he will have XYZ. And yes. they yes. find the most unique um, yes. things that even act actually one of my brothers my one of my youngest brothers mm -hmm. he found a really unique blazer right. I think it was a Christmas Eve evening wow. was coming into almost six seven o'clock in the evening and we thought yes. let's go to Russia yes. and we found something there so yes. I want to say congratulations yes, to you, you for your diligence and I believe yeah. that it is your hard work and your commitment yeah. to your vision that has mm -hmm. brought you this far if I'm not mistaken yes, and what a beautiful vision it is when we look around here at Le Chateau mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen let me just tell you, the ambiance here, just the name should yes. tell you something about Le Chateau. Yeah. And I want to talk about the name. Yeah. How did you come up with the name Le Chateau? Um, so in construction, when we started construction in 2019, um, it was just a shell. So it resembled something of the, a castle. Mm -hmm. And even the folks within the community, they were referring to the building as the castle. So I was just playing around with names and then one morning I just decided to add a little touch to it and just give it Le Chateau, the castle in French. Um, and here we are today at the castle, at Le Chateau. And you Three see when you have later. a vision, because even yeah. with your construction, there must have been a design. Yes, so please. even in your design yes. and, um, preparations, there mm -hmm. was that castle aspect yes, of it. Without definitely. Probably even without coming to the surface. Even knowing, yes. Right. Yes, yes. And what a fitting name, because ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen, we really are in a castle. Yes. We are. We <laughs> yes. are seated. So today I am royalty. Yes. Just let me just put that out there. <laughs> I'm in a castle and yeah. I'm, I'm speaking to a prince. Yes. Right? <laughs> The Prince of yes. Fashion here in yeah. Tobago. And mm -hmm. I want to tell you, viewers, that the, the, the units here are outfitted beautifully. Yeah. Your mm -hmm. tenants, of course, as you said, they chose yeah. Le Chateau because yeah. they saw something yeah. very unique mm -hmm. here. And I want to talk about how many tenants do you have right now? And I know recently yeah. um, we had actually two, two yeah. recent tenants yes. joining within this yes. month, if within I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Right. So um, we would have just had material things and the perfect gift coming on board. Um, but let's just talk a little bit about the avocado lounge where we seated, seated in right now. Um, what we wanted to do was just add a different touch to give folks a different experience, a different shopping experience. Mm -hmm. Because for too long when you look around in Tobago, we have had not too much of, uh, I want to say world-class shopping experience we would have just settled for the mediocre. And what we wanted to do at Le Chateau 
is just offer something with a different touch because from the outskirts looking in it's like the exterior of the building speaks for itself and then you you're you're a customer and you just want to know what's inside what's inside that box and when you come in what we want to do is just have the interior as a reflection of the exterior so the avocado launch was just a space that we wanted to create to add to the shopping experience you come you're shopping around you just want to lounge you just want to read a book you just want to have a cup of coffee um, you could just sit at the, at the at the avocado lounge and just lounge and if your yeah. shopping bags are too heavy, yes, you could, you right? could just... You're shopping yes. all year and your shopping bags are too heavy. You know, we have these experiences internationally. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm happy that you brought that experience yeah, home to so Tobago. we can have a yeah. taste of it. Yeah, so that we, And you know what it does to us as mm -hmm. people of Tobago? It boosts our esteem yes, and please. our confidence. Yeah. Because for too long, the narrative has been that we are third world and yeah. developing, which, yeah. we are, which we are, but we yeah. also have a taste for the finer things yeah. in life. And we have a responsibility as individuals to change that narrative. That's right. And what I want to say is that I want to commend all the persons that are a part of the team. Um, I don't want to say tenants, I call them my team, um, for maintaining that standard. If you look at Tobago Wick, when you go inside, it's a nice, clean aesthetic, nice layout, material things like all the shops has maintained that standard that clean modern uh organized layout that you would tend to see um in international malls and that kind of thing so we just wanted to more or less model that and sell it to tobago every tobagonian should feel proud to know that this castle is owned by a young black tobagonian that all the shops at Le Chateau are owned by young black tobagonians it's a sense of belonging, a sense of feeling proud to be a part of something like this. Um, every parent, every person in communities should feel proud to know that they're coming to support local black businesses in the island of Tobago. Um, I want to also say that um, in the very near future, we would be launching the cafe, that's Yvette's. Um, I named the cafe after my mom. Mm -hmm. um, her name is Yvette. And I just felt like I needed to give back to my mom and my dad. And that was her gift. Um, they say give persons their rose while they are alive. That's right. So I just wanted to give them their roses while they are here with us, celebrating with us. They're in the land of the living. So I am happy that we are here again today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I am so happy that I've had this conversation with yeah. you. I'm so happy that Tobago is, um, you know, getting a taste of Le Chateau. If you have not been here, if you've not been shopping here, at least you're here now and you're feeling the essence and the vibe and the pulse yeah. behind Le Chateau, speaking with yeah. Ronaldo, John, owner of Le Chateau. Mm -hmm. um, and what a beautiful place it is indeed. And we spoke about some of the, the team, I wouldn't yeah. say the tenants, the yeah. team um, that are here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hand you over to someone who's going to take you to one of our team members, Right now, I'm handing you over to Lavia as she takes you through to one of the other stores.